County these days, you'll see a lot of help wanted signs. The county right now enjoying such a job growth, it's past Montgomery County in that key economic indicator. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell reporting tonight that there are many reasons for this. Victoria Ballestero is a professional engineer and the operations manager for the engineering firm ATCS. She does site work on development projects. Her office is in Largo, and she says her company sees a bright future in Prince George's County, and she is hiring. So we see the potential for the kind of work that we do as professional engineers here in the county, and we're excited to be here. ATCS is just one of many with the Help Wanted sign out in the county. Walter Simmons of the American Job Center says his employment clearinghouse has on average 10,000 job openings in the county every day. This year alone, we're expecting to service over 1,200 businesses. We have over 100 job fairs a year. Uh, we lead in the region in the amount of job fairs. Both professionals say they are not surprised to hear that according to new data from the George Mason University, Prince George's County has now passed Montgomery when it comes to job creation over the last several years. County Executive Angela Alsobrook says there are many reasons. We have not only uh, human capital, where we have very highly educated people, but we have the most undeveloped land in the state. We have great transportation with the 15 metro stations. We have the University of Maryland College Park. Development is booming around those metro stations. The new University of Maryland Hospital in Largo is just one example. It's the kind of work which brought Victoria Ballestero and ATCS to the county. We're, we're open for business. The sign is up and we are hiring. In Largo, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News. Protest.